In the 60 plus years I've lived here, Guilford County has changed dramatically. The thing I love most about Greensboro is that it's a city of transplants and everybody is eager to be a friend and make a friend because we all moved here and were new at one point. I just, I love it. <laughs> Specifically about Guilford County, I think things are going pretty good. I, I think all of our cities have gotten healthier in the last 20 years. So I think if I was to go to Raleigh and talk to the state government, my biggest concern would be for the agricultural community and also the small business community. I send an occasional charming letter to representatives from time to time, but I don't feel particularly uh, uh, connected. Uh, it, it does seem to me that, that politics, in the less flattering sense of that word, plays more of a role in the decisions that are made in Raleigh and in Washington than reality does. Everybody seems way more worried about being reelected than actually serving the country. Well, in agriculture, obviously a big issue is immigration. Our current immigration policies are absolutely ridiculous. Right now our food is being grown and our roads and our homes are being made by people who were, are Mexican or Southern American or Central American. And you know they need to have some sort of legalized status. Somebody was like, you just think that we should have open borders? And I was like, actually, yes. Yes, I do think that we should have open borders. Open borders are as close to insanity as anything I can imagine. We've got to take into account that you can't take all of the world's poverty problems and bring them in your borders and solve those problems and keep your own economy afloat. It's not going to happen, in my opinion. What they don't seem to realize is that the legal way is a 10 to 12 year process. We only allow a certain number of people and that number diminishes every year. And it's really difficult, time consuming and expensive to do it the legal way. So these are the last grapes we picked right here. We picked these a couple weeks ago, Cabernet Sauvignon. So we planted these in 2001. Farm work is seasonal. It's not a job that most middle-class North Americans uh, want. There were you know, strawberries right down the street that didn't get picked this year because they just didn't have anybody to pick them. The family was out there picking from dawn to dusk, but there weren't enough family members to get the strawberries out of the field. Probably my second biggest issue would be health care. You know, in the U.S. per person and as a percent of our GDP, we spend a huge amount for sort of lousy health care compared to, to some other countries. I'd like to see people have health care, don't get me wrong, but the kinds of programs that have been pursued are not going to be solutions to the problem. They're going to bankrupt the country. I know that everybody's screaming about my taxes are going to go up, but I'm willing to pay more taxes so that going to the hospital for cancer treatment doesn't bankrupt me. If I had a magic wand, one of the ways that I would use it would be to start a discussion, a dialogue among leaders in media for them to reevaluate their role in a now fractured society. I'm concerned about voter turnout. A free society works better when people are informed and when they participate. Every vote counts, every election, state, local, federal. Anytime I know that I'm supposed to be at, in the voting booth, I'm there. <laughs>